Hi, Hypnotist Michael White here. Um, trying to publish another video. I had some questions coming in asking me about fractionation. So we're going to talk a little bit about fractionation and, and what fractionation is and how you can use it uh, with hypnosis when you're doing your inductions or you're trying to deepen your subject. So fractionation, the best way I can explain it is, you know when you set your alarm to wake you up in the morning and oftentimes you wake up just before the alarm goes off and then you hit your snooze button and you go back to sleep for a little bit. Nine minutes later, the alarm goes off again. But now you feel a little bit more tired, you hit the snooze button, you go back to sleep again. Nine more minutes go by and now you're really tired, you're much more groggy than you were before. Maybe you forget to hit the snooze button and you just oversleep, right? You notice that each time you drift back into sleep, you drift back into sleep a little bit deeper each time you do that. Well, that's called fractionation. And when we use that same approach with hypnosis, we can create deeper states of trance or more intense states of trance. And the way we accomplish that, it would take someone into hypnosis and then we bring them back out again. We take them back into hypnosis. We bring them back out. We take them back in. And each time they enter into trance, they go in at a deeper state. They go in quicker. They go in deeper. And we're able to use fractionation in order to create more intense states. Let's say, for instance, we needed to be able to get to somnambulism with our subject in order to deal with analgesia or anesthesia or visualizations or hallucinations or something like that but uh, and but we don't have them at a deep enough state to be able to ac access or um, elicit that type of phenomena we can use fractionation in order to intensify those states so that we can get to that level that we need to have our subject in to be able to do what we want to do with them so <clears throat> i'm going to demonstrate for you um, a couple of ways that we can do fractionation and with with our hypnotic subjects and then and I have a volunteer that's going to work with me today come on up go ahead and have a seat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this gentleman we're going to uh, use a uh, rapid induction an instant induction to induce trance and then we'll use a similar type of induction in order to, or, in order to do the fractionation right so would you like to go into trance today Yes. And so, okay, if I take you into trance, right? So we have our hypnotic contract, uh, uh, explicit in this case, as opposed to blank. Can I borrow that hand a second? Let me have that arm loose, limp, and relax. And look at me. Take a deep breath in and sleep. Deeper, 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 all the way down. Each breath takes you even deeper with each breath that you exhale, going deeper and deeper each and every time. In a moment, I'm going to have you open up your eyes and look at me. When you look at me and I snap my fingers and I say the word sleep, that'll be your invitation to close your eyes and go 10 times deeper in a trance. So one, two, three, looking at me and sleep all the way down, all the way down. Each time you go into trance, you're going quickly, easily, and effortlessly, faster and faster, deeper and deeper each and every time. Again, in a moment, I count to three. At the count of three, you'll open your eyes and look at me. When I snap my fingers and say the word sleep, 100 times deeper in the trance and one two three looking at me and sleep all the way down all the way down notice that each time he goes into trance the shoulders become more relaxed it becomes into a much deeper state we learn everything with practice at three times a charm so once again one two three and sleep all the way down all the way down each time you go into trance you find that you go to this depth or even deeper each and every time anytime i suggest sleep to you for the purpose of hypnosis and with your permission, you'll find that you go into this trance quickly, easily, and effortlessly, deeper and deeper each and every time. In a moment, I'll have you open up your eyes at the count of three, and only on the count of three, eyes open wide awake, feeling absolutely fantastic in every way. One, two, and three, eyes open wide awake, feeling absolutely fantastic. So you may have noticed that each time that I had him open up his eyes, and I said the word sleep again, he went back into trance. Each time he went back into trance, you may have noticed that his body relaxed a lot more. He went back in uh, more quickly and more deeply. And, and did you experience that level of intensity increasing each time that you went back in again? Yeah, it was heavier. Each time. Yeah, it was heavier, right? Each, each time you went in. So we can, what we can do is we can give some instruction about going back into trance with the snap of a finger or something like that. We can also do consecutive inductions consecutive types of inductions right not the same induction every time so we could do the first one like this can bar their hand loose limp and relax look at me and sleep deeper deeper and deeper one two three open up your eyes and above that hand looking at that hand and sleep deeper 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 
Each time you go into trance, deeper and deeper and deeper. Open up your eyes. That's great. Put your hand right here. Press down on my hand, looking at me. Press down on my hand, looking at me. Close your eyes and sleep deeper, deeper, and deeper. So here I've used three different instant rapid inductions to induce a fractionated state within my subject. So you can see that there are many different ways that you can accomplish fractionation in order uh, to create deeper or more intense states of trance. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake, feeling absolutely fantastic. Great, thank you very much. And you can go on there, appreciate your assistance. So you see that this is a very powerful tool as we learn to use fractionation if we need to get more intense states. Now you don't always need somnambulism when you're doing change work with somebody. You don't always need these deeper states of trance. Sometimes if you're just trying to help somebody feel more confident, or uh, feel more alert or aware or something like that, light states of trance are, are good enough to do that. But if you find yourself that you're trying to work with doing some trauma work or fear or phobia work or something like that, you may need a deeper state of trance in order to access those memories or the experiences or resources or something like that. So here's a quick way to be able to intensify the state of trance very easily and very quickly by using fractionation techniques like I just demonstrated for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found value in it. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these training videos on hypnosis. And if there's something that you would like to see demonstrated in one of these videos, just leave me a comment underneath this video and let me know what you'd like to see a video on and I'll do my best to get it published out there for you. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.